What is going on guys, Jewel Panda, and today is going to be a very late night video. Um, it is around like 1.30 in the morning. Why am I up? Because I don't sleep until 2 o'clock. Why? Because I'm always on making 2K videos or whatever. Um, stay tuned for that because I am going to make a 2K video. Um, but today is going to be a very different video than usual. Um, I'm going to be reviewing a new vape mod that I just got. Um, it's probably one of the most popular ones for beginners. And um, I did have a, a little old old tuper or zero tuper. Um, little vape pen. Um, a friend of mine is going to buy that off me very soon for 20, 20 lives, 15 for the pen, 20, uh, 5 more for uh, the charger. So, yeah, so this is going to be a very short video. I pre recorded this before, but it was very long, and YouTube was being a pain in the ass just to upload it. And uh, it took me at least two days to realize that I did not even upload. So that's why I'm trying to make this as short as possible. I am going to go over the mod and talk about the top box mix. And, um,. Yeah, let's just jump right into it. Um, starting off, you can already see it's a very small mod. Um, it has a name right here. Vapor Shark is the company that created it. DNA on top over here. I don't know if you guys can see it. There you go. DNA. Um, that is the name. It's a DNA 30. You guys can go on YouTube and search it up. You guys can see like the other mods and everything. It uh, has a very smooth texture. Um, why is it called 30 um, DNA 30? DNA is a normal name. It's a normal brand, um, a normal brand of the Vapor Shark company. Um, 30 means 30 watts. So if I turn this on, um, here's the fire button, positive and negative uh, for the watts. So we turn it on, N bulb um, DNA. So you guys can see it's already on 30 watts. Put that over. It's already on 30 watts so if I come over here to the negative this is a negative button right here so if I hold it I say I gotta turn it on it's the same thing as a pen five clicks to turn it on so you can see how it's kind of like shadowed and everything like it's like very low <laughs> sorry I have gas um you can very you can see it's like very low and everything so once I click it five times one two three four five it turns on brighter so you can see that um right here the negative button if i hold it it'll start off going slow and then i'll start going off pretty fast all the way down to seven watts so right now i'm at 19 18 17 16 whatever keep going down it's going to go all the way down to seven watts the all right there we go so it's at seven watts i don't know if you guys can see it but 7.2 it has a voltage and it has um the battery the battery meter right there um but yeah i can go back up to 30 um they said if you do if you are a beginner and you can't handle the 30 watt smoke uh they said that you can start off at 15 watts and then move up to see which one you feel more comfortable with i have you can see i have no vape juice um i am going to make an update video if this video uploads I'm gonna make an update video on this, on how it smokes and how the clouds are, like if it's big clouds or if it's small clouds. We'll see right now. So we're gonna move all, well we're gonna keep it at seven. We're gonna five clicks to turn it off. There we go, five clicks, it's off. Um, we're gonna go on jumping onto the top box mix. The top box mix is a Kanger Tech uh, top box mini. Has like a normal black tip. Um, there's different types of uh, tips out there that uh, you can have a little short one that that just like it's the same thing as this. It's not like uh that you spin in or anything. Just apply and just snap back, um, or snap in. It's the same thing. Um, yeah. So, um, this one came in like this. So, yeah. This Kanger Tech is a uh, mini, and you can see the um air flows and has a big one so it, it all if you want to take if you want to take in um big um clouds you always got to watch for the airflows if the airflows are let's say 
that like open um you just twist it if you want to get the most cloud twist it and you'll see a little hole right there um, you guys can see it but there's a little hole that means there's less air going inside and more vapor is going in your mouth so pretty much it takes slow vapor where it make it forms more of a circle and if you and it also gets all hot inside so it's like it's not very very comfortable uncomfortable you won't be able to taste the um, the type of vape juice that you have and you're also going to taste a bit burnt so my opinion you guys always have your over your air flows open to the biggest to the biggest hole because more more of the flavor you can taste more of the flavor less burnt plus you can still pop out big cloud so how do i know this i went on in the internet i went on youtube did my research i did everything and if you guys are wondering if vaping is safe yes it is it's very safe it can go into your lungs it won't do any damage and honestly smoking this is meant for people to get off smoking um normally i do this for fun um people also i used to always smoke a bunch of weed um i used to be a pothead through middle school and it was very bad for me so um yeah this is actually helping me um to stop even smoking bud or your weed if you guys don't know any other nicknames for weed um, but this is very useful I'll recommend starting with a pen so you can learn how to inhale and whatever get used to it and then move up next one I will be getting very soon hopefully it's a bigger box a bigger mod at least up to here so I can actually hold it this is a pocket like normally that you can hide this in your pocket it, will, it wouldn't even look like it's there so yeah enough talking I guess I can show you enough of it. Um, I guess I can show you how it looks in the inside. Yeah, let's see if I can turn it. There we go. So it's just um, to refill, refill the tank. Just you can't pass over that little tube. You pass over, you go inside the way the mouth is, and it will taste really bad. You're gonna taste the vape juice. The vape juice by itself. When it's when you smell it, not smell it. When you taste it, it tastes way different what it actually says. So if it's a, if you get a a vape juice that says strawberry, it's gonna taste very really bad, like really really bad. So I recommend if you guys gonna get a kangaroo tech, don't pass the tube, don't pass that tube. Go at least before a centimeter off. So um, yeah, enough talking. The last video I tried making was nine minutes. So I'm gonna go below. This is gonna probably go eight minutes. 30 around there but um hope you guys did enjoy the video if you guys um want me to recommend which other vapes um i'll make sure to do my more of a research on vapes and i'll recommend in the next the update video of uh, which vape i would get next or if you guys want to start with beginners i will probably recommend the o2 per it's a very old pen so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video as well as your wall panda and leave a comment down below of what you guys think and um yeah i'll see you guys next time